Hey guys, it's Neon and I'm gonna talk about Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and uh, kind of the, the weirdness, I guess, associated with the rollout of Disney's Star Wars Land expansions uh, in California and Florida. Star Wars Land Galaxy's Edge is coming to both California and Florida this year. They have announced the dates. The opening dates for Galaxy's Edge in Disneyland is on uh, May 31st and it's August 29th in Orlando. Now, what's weird about Galaxy's Edge is that that the rollout, it's it's only half the rides. The park is not going to be done when they open it in Disneyland and in Orlando this year. They're actually, they, they've moved up the opening date. They've moved up the opening date. Um, now, this is the official press release here uh, coming directly from Disney. They've moved up the opening date to Orlando, um, for Orlando uh, to, to August 29th, which is way quicker than most people thought it was going to be. Most people were thinking it was going to be December. Um, why are they moving the opening date of Galaxy's Edge uh, to August 29th? Most people who watch Disney will tell you that that's because Disney's fiscal year actually closes out the end of September. So I think they're trying to get they're trying to get some revenue on the books before the end of the year um, for Galaxy's Edge because you know if they go into December, it's going to be on next year's books. Uh, so this is really interesting though because when they open it, it's not going to be done. Uh, they're only going to have one of the attractions. The Millennium Falcon ride is going to be open. The other ride, the big ride, uh, the Rise of the Resistance, which is this massive uh, ride that has walkers and all kinds of crazy stuff going on, is not going to be open until the end of the year. Um, so this is actually coming from uh, Disney's official press release. Uh, uh, and, and it's kind of, if you read between the lines, now Disney has a way of putting a very positive spin on things that maybe um, maybe aren't terribly good news, but but... They, they have a way of putting a positive spin on it. In the anticipation of high guest interest, Disney Parks, Experiences, and Products announced today it will open Star Wars Galaxy's Edge ahead of schedule at Disneyland Park in California on May 31st and at Disney's Hollywood Studios at Walt Disney World Resort in Florida on August 29th. Again, this is a lot sooner than uh, people thought was going to be open because of the uh, stage of completion, but here's the catch. Uh, it's not all done. On opening day for Phase 1, guests will be transported to the remote planet of Batu, full of unique sights, sounds, smells, and tastes. Guests can become part of the story as they sample galactic food and beverages, explore an intriguing collection of merchant shops, and take the controls of the most famous ship in the galaxy aboard Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. So the Millennium Falcon ride will be open, but that's actually the smaller of the two rides. Phase 2 opening later this year will be star wars rise of the resistance the most ambitious immersive and advanced attraction ever imagined which will place guests in the middle of a climactic battle between the first order and the resistance and will blur the lines between fancy and reality in light of tremendous demand disney made the decision to open the land in phases to allow guests to sooner enjoy the one-of-a-kind experiences that make star wars galaxy's edge so spectacular Translation, we want to get people into the parks before the end of our fiscal year uh, because, you know, we're seeing a decline in, in uh, Star Wars, in interest in Star Wars, um, interest in Marvel, and we've lost some money. We've lost some money on, you know, Solo did not do very well, um, and uh, they really want to get some money on the books. Um, actually, Disney this year, they're doing okay but their studios uh, have kind of been striking out a little bit. Some of the movies, uh, you know, their recent releases have not been performing very well. Um, you know, there, I think there might be, not, I wouldn't call it panic, but concern that, uh, you know, the parks need to, again, uh, just like every other time, when, when other divisions of Disney uh, sputter out, they always turn to the theme parks to make up the revenue. So how else to to boost the revenue than to open Star Wars land a little bit early? But the problem is uh, people are going to go expecting it to be completely open. And one of the major attractions is not going to be open. Uh, we don't actually have an opening date for that. It's going to be open later this year. So if you're planning on going to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge when it opens, uh, just be aware that you're only going to get one ride. You're going to get the Millennium Falcon ride, and from what I'm hearing, you could be waiting many, many hours to ride the Falcon ride because the capacity is very low uh, on this. But on the plus side, you'll probably be able to have a glass of, of nice uh, cold uh, green milk. Um, 
you know, I really wish that it would be fresh squeezed. I, I wish you could squeeze your own green milk at Galaxy's Edge, uh, fresh from the teat, fresh from the alien teat, but you can't uh, do that. You can just uh, order a glass of it. So this is going to be really interesting to see. You know, I think the crowds are going to be insane, but I am kind of wondering if people aren't going to be disappointed that they're going to go and only one ride is going to be open. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know how that's going to play out, but just an FYI, and again, I think the uh, the reason for this is pretty simple. Disney wants to get some money on the books before the end of the year, and they want to make Star Wars uh, look more profitable uh, because right now, stuff's just not selling solo didn't do very good and we don't know how episode nine's gonna do uh you know there's not a whole lot of buzz about it they haven't really shown much i don't i don't know how it's gonna do so we'll keep an eye on the star wars situation here at clownfish tv uh and let you know what's going on as we see it so this has been neon please subscribe for more pop culture news views rants gaming videos art videos and more and i will talk to you later Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.